Live MMA action April 3rd at the USF Sundome in Tampa, Florida. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com. Art of Fighting 7. Payday. Marcio Cruz and Dave Yost. Very compelling. Dave is probably the only heavyweight with a great record that's coming out of Tampa. And Marcio Cruz? Six-time world jiu-jitsu champion. It's a great matchup. I'm looking forward to this fight a whole lot. I had a chance to uh, speak with Dave Yost, and uh, you know, one of the things that really came through loud and clear was how excited he is to be able to fight a guy at the level of Marcio Cruz. Um, he's taking this extremely seriously. He knows that this could really be a shot in the arm for his career. Oh yeah, this is his first true test against a legitimate opponent. And who's more legit than Marcio Cruz? I mean, he's the six-time world jiu-jitsu champion. He's the world MMA champion right now. So this is his true test. This is gonna show fans that Dave has that he's a legit fighter and that he can fight anybody. Yeah, Cruz is a guy who's been in the cage and beaten guys like Frank Mir. Uh, he's faced Andre Arlovsky. He's fought guys at the top of the MMA food chain. So Dave Yost is really, really excited about this. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the fight itself. Um, on paper at least, and watching these guys pass fights, it looks like Yost is going to want to stay on his feet, and it looks like Cruz is going to want to take Yost down. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about paper, you can't compare. Marcio Cruz has fought Andre Arlovsky, Jeff Monson, Frank Mir, Ube Choi. All these guys are world-class fighters. Dave has not fought one world-class fighter yet. This is going to be the first guy that he faces that's really a world-class mixed martial artist and is awesome on the ground, devastating on the ground. You know, we spoke a little earlier with Dave Yost, and he said, look, I'm not afraid to go to the ground with him, guys. Everyone thinks I don't have a ground game. I have a ground But in reality, Yost really needs to work his takedown defense here. Uh, it's obvious that Dave's going to be at a large disadvantage going to the ground with Marcio Cruz. But equal to that, Marcio Cruz is going to be at a disadvantage standing up with Dave. Marcio paid upon a Cruz with a lot to prove here on the third. And conversely, Dave Yost does not respect the stand-up game of Marcio Cruz. Dave Yost uh, make a, a good fire. He has a, a big name in Florida, but is the the title. A heavyweight to be reckoned with. My fights always go to the ground, and everyone always underestimates what I can do. Methodical, efficient, patient, and intelligent. I think I'm gonna surprise him if he tries to take me to the ground. Oh, look at this! Pay me because he is a former collector. And I think one thing he probably has very little experience with is the word no. He can just walk around with a tip jar. As far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a quick fight when it comes to my fight. So uh, if they're coming to watch me, pack light. It was a couple of uppercuts that ended it just like that. You know, just ended it with a couple uppercuts. That's all it took and I uh, sent him running. There's uh, nothing I'm afraid of. I'm ready to fight. Wherever the fight takes me is where I'm going to excel. He won't take my belt, he need to train hard. He need to fight the best fight of his life. In my fight, I sometimes I knock out, but everything in the ground. He's got good hands. Take impressive. a look at this guy right here. I train hard for defend my belt. Fights with honor and pride, 